Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome to a new video of me, Fuzzball40. I'm recording this early Thursday morning because um, I've got a lot of stuff on for the next few days. So I want to make sure you had the video. It is Friday for you guys, which means the 12 days of Fuzzmas starts tonight. The plan's probably going to be for the first giveaway to be over on Twitch because um, I'll get the hype going for it. So make sure you click the link down below into my Twitch. Come and follow me and come and the stream will be live tonight from about 6.30 onwards, maybe slightly past that, uh, maybe closer to 7. Um, we'll be live for a couple of hours and whatnot. But make sure you click the link down below and come and follow us there for that. You must be following on Twitch to win. You must be following us on YouTube to win the YouTube giveaways. So whatever you do, subscribe down below. Remember, as, at the time of recording, we're 85 away from 1,000 subscribers. If we hit that 1,000, there'll be £50 worth of gift cards given away. A lot of people are saying they would prefer it to be done three people win rather than one winning 50. Um, comment down below what you think would be best. If you think it'd be better just to do one £50 or a 25, a 15 and a 10, for example. Either a 25, a... And then three tens perhaps could be a really good option. Um, but yes, yeah, so make sure you click that subscribe button. We are killing it at the moment. So this video is going to be teaching you guys about icon trading. Um, but before we get into that, before we get hard like into what you've got to do and how you should be doing it, I want to show you the team. So I said to everybody, we're going to start, we're turning this essentially into a Road to Glory account, but there'll be, it'll still be very trading heavy, trading tips all the time. I'll still be trading a lot on it. But people want to see gameplay more often. So I said, fine, we'll do that. I'll do some drafts on this account as well. Um, and we'll just see how we can build up the coins. But I want to show you just over a month, realistically, is how long we've been on this account for. And this is the team that we've been able to build with about another 800,000 coins in the club. Um, this is the team we've been able to build just for you pure, pure trading. Now, I'm sorry, no matter what you say, this is a legit team. This is for maybe two hours of trading, five, five days a week. We've been able to build this team. Uh, we bought the one Jesus. This is the only SPC player that I plan on doing, this Diego Carlos. I'm, I think he's very, very good value for coins. I think he's a very, very good player. Um, and he's, I think he's almost certain with Cluj being the team that's going to be a play. I think he's almost certain to get at least one, if not two, um, boosts. And if he gets those two boosts, he could be an 87 rated player and he could be an absolute demon. Um, so I'm very happy with him. Juan Jesus, big, big fan of him. He's left footed, which is perfect for this. Uh, very pacey, good defensive, good physical. So I was going to do him. But the rest of the team, we've got Neymar up there. We've got the team in the group stage, Salah. Um, I love Screen Daddy Ali, it was on my main account, so I brought him again, Trippy is amazing as well, Son who's just an absolute fiend, and this thing will be improved as we go, like I eventually want to replace Salah with Messi, replace these guys possibly with like, I don't know, De Jong's in form, and Semedo down there maybe, but for now it's really really good, really happy with it, and yeah, I think it, it shows you guys what can happen when you trade, when you just, when you trade very hard, we clear out those guys there, when you trade very hard, when you you haven't got to do it like in terms of intensely trading. All you've got to do is just set yourself a goal each day of what you want to make and the, the methods you're going to use. And so the methods that I use, I've told you before, league SPC method is the most effective way to trade in my opinion. It's guaranteed to work. It's low risk. It's high reward. It's great, right? But we, I, I've got a triple threat that I do use. If I get bored of league SPC method, I do chemistar trading. The video for that went live two days ago. Go and watch it. The other thing I like to do is icon trading. Now, icon trading is what I'm going to show you today. And icon trading... You have to be very careful. And the best advice I can give you initially with icon trading, the initial advice is get card, just get a few cards set aside that you know very well. So for me, the guys that I trade in that I like are Pires, Overmars, Carlos Alberto, the goalkeepers, the low rate goalkeepers, um, and a couple of centre backs. They're the ones that I know the prices of very well. Now it's great if you can learn all the prices, but unless again you like flair or something like that and you're trading every day, it ain't possible. It's really not possible. So what I say to you guys to do is go and check, start by checking the prices. And I, I say to you guys, start with low rated strike, like low rated ones and just see where you're at. So Lehman 85 card. In fact, I'm not going to do that. What we're going to do is we're just going to go to league icons. We'll shift across to it. And we're going to go goalkeeper. Because Lehman and Schmeich will come up with this. And they're usually about 120k. It might be different now because it's first thing in the morning, so it might be a bit more expensive. Which obviously, remember that as well, I tell you about peaks and troughs when it comes to players, right? If you can pick them up at night time, when it's busy in the evening for 115, and then sell them in the morning like this for 130k, then you're making yourself like nearly 10k profit a card, right? But 120 to 130 is usually the, 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 the rough price that they go for. However, they drop as size 105. So what you want to be looking at is saying, okay, cool, this is the price. And what I will do is I'll add him to transfer side because he's got a bid in him, so I'm assuming he's going to sell at 129. I'm going to add... This Schmeichel, in fact, I'm going to add all four of these. So, and I'll just check what the price is. And again, like you do a chemistar trading, keep an eye on the price. But do not try to learn all the prices unless you're going to have time to do it because it's pointless. 
Reason I like to use Overmars is he's got five star week for his relatively sought after. His low car is not too expensive. You can learn the market very well on him. So 185 at the moment, he's sitting out for there. 181. I mean, that's actually quite cheap. 175. I've seen him. He usually goes about 200k. Um, be mindful that the prices at the moment are being affected by the fact that primes are due into packs anytime now, basically. Anytime now, primes are due into packs. So I'm going to add this, this guy's transfer targets. I have a feeling he'll select 175, without a doubt. I'll clear it off. See if there's any bids we can make. Any any of these guys on bid? 178? No, not really. That's one over Mars. And then we're going to do his, his mid card, right? Now, primes are supposed to be getting released. You'll be watching this the day they're supposed to be getting released. Everyone's hyping it up and saying they're going to be released on... The Friday, but I don't know. We'll see what you do. It should be, but we'll see. I'm gonna add this this um, over Mars transfer targets as well. And it's just about building up your knowledge and seeing which cards sell for what. Things to know, right? And things to know about players. Don't go and pick random. Like for example, in my opinion, don't go and look at Deco. Yes, you might be able to make some money from Deco. Is Deco that sort after? Not really. Not really at all. Like you can pick up the guy for next to discard value. Not discard value, but low value. He's not that. What I look for is players that people might necessarily not be able to afford a, a ridiculous like a Neymar five star week for her, but Overmars got five star week for it. Always sought after. Another very, very good one to look at, Nedved, right? And the reason again, the reason why Nedved is good is because he has a five star week for it. Mate, his that one card's crashed, it was more expensive than that. Five star week for it, four star skill moves, and it's quite a good card. Like it's pacey, it's solid. I'd argue that this the the eighty seven card is better than his um, is better than his prime in terms of usability this year, purely based upon the fact that he's pacey. Um, it'll be interesting to see what his prime ends up being, but that's just my that's just why where I see it. I think he'll be more expensive his prime. I just want to see if we get what price we get for Never at the moment. I'm sure it must be someone the 400, but maybe, maybe not. What the hell is this? A 303, 403. So what, so what I just saw at 402. So again, that makes you think. Hang on. If he hasn't sold at 402 for, and he's got too much 24 le left on there, he probably needs to sell for less than that. Probably, people, the market probably didn't see it. And also, people will be relatively scared to invest at the moment in them because of primes. I personally think primes won't affect these prices that much. And some of these prices at the moment are way too low. And so I think when primes hit the market, people might, might see or use a prime that they really, really like, not be able to afford to buy the prime, and they'll go and buy the one down below that. And so I think that's... Just be mindful that the primes coming out might not necessarily crash this market. It might make a climb again. I, I think that, that's possible. We don't know. We've never seen this happen before. We've never seen it happen before where primes come out after mid to and base tiers. So, <coughs> pardon me. Um, these guys here, get an idea on the price. And then just, again, it's about building up a, a, a set of knowledge in your head. But one guy that I've liked to trade in so far is Carlos Alberto's 90 card. Now, the other day he went for 910k for me. I'm pretty sure it's way below that now. 829 and 820, right? Now, I would even consider risking those. Because, again, I think he'll drop off again. But 829 is what he's selling for at the moment. So, going up there to see if there's any more in the market. So, you've got a lot of 835s and whatnot. Maybe that is his price at the moment, to be fair. 820s and whatnot. So, you want to be looking to buy these icons, remember, with, 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 a, set of profit, with a set of profit in mind. And um, my profit's always sort of, I want to be picking up. Ideally, 5% of the card's value minimum is what I want to be picking up, but ideally, again, more than that. So, for example, when the card is up, you saw, saw the one I sold the other day. I picked him up at 822, I think, and I listed him for 910. So, I think after he'd sold, I'd lost, a, I'd, I'd lost in terms of tax about 45-ish K, 46-ish K, something in that region. I think it's about 45 K. So, we ended up sending him for 8, 875 is really what we got for him. So, I made nearly 50K, well, I made 50K profit on him, which was worth my time. So, that was fine. But with icon trading, you need to know the market. And what you do initially, like I say, is build up your knowledge. I'm not going to sit now and buy an icon. There's no point in buying an icon. But you want to build up your knowledge and get an idea of the prices. And then once once those players sell, you then go, oh, okay. I now know, for example, that Nedved will sell for 390. So I know that if I see any in the market, once I take tax off for 390, at 370, I need to be buying them for 370 max to make any sort of money on them whatsoever. Uh, or bidding on them. And that's one of the strongest ways to get these players is to bid. Legitimately, to bidding, bidding is is massively, massively effective, because sometimes people aren't interested in buying that specific specific icon, and you can see you can you can reap really good dividends. And no one like when I did that up at Carlos Alberto, no one could, like competed with me. And I saw one go afterwards for eight hundred and ten, I think. And I, did, I thought I was like, mm, should I buy it? No, I won't risk it. Blah 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 blah. And I regretted it instantaneously. I regretted it. If we look at the icon goalkeepers. 
One for 129, Neville Lehman. That's the one we're looking at. You just want to see if there's any on here that are selling for their max price at the moment. Like if they've got a, a max bid on them that's less than what they're listed for. Doesn't look like it. Again, I'm showing you this in the morning. The most effective way to trade this is with rewards. Rewards are out in about 22 minutes. People get them and the price of some of these icons will drop off. It's a great time to buy. Great time to buy at rewards. Um, but essentially, that's how you trade icons. You've got to get a price in your head. Let's see if anyone's sold at the moment. I think that's never has gone. Yes, I never didn't sell it for World 2. So I know not to touch him at that price. I know now. And what I would what I'd normally do is I've got it on my left, right hand side is I've got my Google Docs up. I'll add that and say, right, on this date at 402, he didn't sell at that time. And again, my, my docs are messy in terms of what they are, but I know what they mean. And I know how that I can then go, go and use that to my advantage when it comes to buying his icons. But that essentially is icon trading. That's how you icon trade. You just just get an idea. I would start with three or four icons that you like the look of, that you want to trade with. Um, go and get an idea of the price, what they sell for, and then start trading. Don't rush into it and go, okay, cool, I'm going to buy this guy because 10k desk because, okay, 10k is cool, but you're going to make any profit with it? Probably not. Get an idea of what they sell for and always account for the 5% EA tax. It's crucial you account for that. If you don't account for that, you're on a hiding to nothing because you can end up losing coins. But that's going to be the end of the video, lads. Remember, 12 days of first month starts today. It's why I'm wearing this stupid hat. Do not forget it. Get involved. Come and follow me on Twitch. There'll be giveaways on Twitch and on YouTube on both of them. So make sure you're subscribed and following on both. Um, but yeah, that's going to be the end of the video, lads. I'm out. Peace out. Speak to you later.